Hello everyone and welcome back to Adventures in Skyrim. My I was just got some <laughs> She's the one who instructed me on my sword fighting techniques. Can you imagine? I think that's the second or third episode in a row that Mule has interrupted my introductions. I'm not even going to do introductions anymore. I'm just going to start the video and just roll with it, you know? Alright, so what we're going to do, starting this out, is finish the uh, berry quest here. We're going to fast travel to Splinter Rock. And this should be pretty funny. If there are en enemies here, we have some companions here to meet them. So it's a good thing we got this quest out of the way before the outpost really went up. Let's see. I'm thinking there should be bandits here, right? Or something? There's Findle. Divine smile on you, friend. And on you. Alright, who is this? Yes. Oh, the conjuration mage. Oh, cool. He has conjuration robes now. A shame he chose to come here. Oh! All right. There's. I was wondering, like, where the heck is the enemy? But they are at the wrong place. They apparently did not get the memo that Rome was settling here. <laughs> oh, you poor bastards! Yeah, just keep hitting, hitting my shield. Actually, don't hit my shield anymore. <laughs> Yatsa. Yep. Yep. Through the back. Really use some more experience in the field. All right. Keep going. Yeah, that basically went exactly the way that I thought it would. I could really use some more experience in the field. Eric, I'm you're not coming with me yet. All right, let's go turn these quests in. <laughs> yeah, they they did not get the memo. They should have thought something was weird when there were you know these big wooden platforms there and a couple of Roman soldiers walking around, but uh, they didn't think that one through. Hello. I still can't believe what happened to Borvald. Um, bandit. Uh, anyway, sorry. Bandits broke into the grove. I took care of them, but could only recover this. Oh, really? I didn't mean to put you in that much danger. I'm of course so you sorry. Didn't. Don't worry. This is still enough for a pie or two, and I can replant the seeds to grow more. I'll get started right away. Thank you again. You're very welcome. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to make Henry his favorite pie, and it's such a special occasion. Here, take this. You certainly earned it. Thank you for the apple pies, I guess. Safe travels. Well worth it. <laughs> Where's your husband at? I need to talk to him. Where is Henrik? Is he inside? I see that you cleared. So yeah. Wait a minute. Did I already turn that in? Holy crap, did I already turn that in? No, oh, Ragnar, not Henrik. Well, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, oops. I was, um... Anyway. Let's go go, go uh, find Ragnar here. <coughs> I believe he should be on his boat. This is... Is this Ragnar? You're someone who can get things done. I like that. That's Wolf. Right. What the hell's Ragnar? What? Didn't I get the Sapphire quest from Ragnar down here? Oh, what the hell? I know I did, right? I got it from the docks. He was at the docks. Am I crazy? Am I going crazy? Was did I get that quest from Amber Creek? No way. No way. I have to look back in the videos. I have to check this. You Do you need something? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. 
This is why I was confused. So it is for Henrik, but I needed to get the Sapphire to give to Ragnar so that he can actually make the ring. Okay, okay. Or whatever, the necklace. Oh, yes. oh okay. He sent me a letter regarding this issue. I can remake the necklace, but I need something else. Part of what makes what? my craft so fine is the use of fine gold. It's purified when smelted, and gives things that extra shine. Wolf brings me shipments of it from Skyrim, then it's brought here by a trade wagon. Unfortunately, my latest shipment never arrived. Let me guess. I bandits. suspect the bandits at Orgrim's Tower are to blame. I claimed Orgrim's Tower. Go to the tower, at the edge of the cliffs just east of here down the river, and find my gold. Guess we got to clear it again. Bring it to me. And I can make you the necklace. Alright. Good. I'll get my other materials ready. So yeah, the reason why I kind of forgot all that is, I mean, because I only play Skyrim like once once a day here. And the when I picked up the quest, to me that was like three days ago. Uh, so, you know, and I've played a lot of games since then. So, you know, I sometimes forget. So in case you're like watching this like episodes back to back, you're like, how can you forget that? That was like an hour ago. Well, to me, it was multiple days ago. You still can't believe what happened to Borvald. Um. Yeah, okay. you want to talk about work? it? I could always use an extra pair of hands at the lumber mill, chopping no. wood, or putting logs with the saw. No. Relax and have fun. Just don't cause any trouble. Or any rumors? The land outside of town. A lot of caravans have gone missing, and a lot of people have lost gold because of it. That's it? Some people think we're about to go back into war. I hope not. This land has seen too much war. I'll see you later. if I can get you anything else. Okay. What can I help you Frigid winds of those barren hills meant to freeze their icy blood. In caverns they then took refuge. Let's try again. I was told that that, was supposed to, that she talks about, um, runaway cows or something. Some people think we're about to go back into bandits cover the land outside of town. A lot of uh, maybe I'm talking to the wrong person. Do you need something? Yalma? Fell down to his knees and no. he could take no Can I help you? Hmm. Oh well. All right, let's go get that gold. Although it is pretty late, let's actually wait until morning. Eh, 11 hours. Then we'll get the gold. We should still have a couple of guards at the tower, too, to help us out. Alright, let's fast travel. Hello, guards. Any bandits uh, come back? Good morning. Good morning. No? Excellent. All right. You should have seen me at the height of my adventuring career. I was fit. Yes, I took too many risks. Nice. Okay. But that's what it was all about. Looks like our guards are doing their uh, their job here. You know what? Just because of that, I'm gonna upgrade this place. With another guard. You deserve it. Let's rotate. Welcome to your post, soldier. Here's your darn gold. Can I help? Fantastic. Now I can get started on this necklace. Hmm. This will take some time. Come back in a few hours, and I should have the necklace ready. Okay. I'll tell you what. I will sit right here and wait a couple hours. 
If you don't have that done in nine hours, then I will call you a poor blacksmith. Well, that's not Can technical. I help you? Blacksmith's job. You should have seen me at the height of my adventuring mm -hmm. career. Yes. I was fearless. Ah, I took too many risks. A fine piece, if I may say about. so myself. Here you go. Oh, and a little something for retrieving my gold. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Until next time, friend. Uh, 50 gold. It just seems like a low amount to me because, you know, I'm getting paid a thousand, more than a thousand through taxes every night. But, you know, if that was not happening, I'm sure. You know, every single piece of gold matters. Plus, I think I'm still sitting on, um, quite a, quite a lot. Yeah, 54,000. Okay. No, no, don't go in the, the, ah. It's okay. I'll just wait a little bit longer. I'll be out here waiting for the morning when you wake up and come back outside or open up a shop. One of the two. I still can't believe what. Yeah, a lot of people saying that. Yeah? Do you need some? Oh, it's beautiful. Rengar has outdone himself again. Thank you. She'll love this. I know it. Here, for all your troubles. All right, so the uh, quest of the loved ones, their 10 year anniversary is now done. I was told that I should look into the Dreams in Oblivion. Right, search for his hidden lair. That's why I think I stopped doing it, because I couldn't find it. It was around the Priory, right? That wizard? I think so. Oh, well, let's check again. Ooh. Kind of looks grim. Alright, so where would. Hello. Where would it be? Skyrim is one of the most dangerous places in hmm. I think I'm, me I'm trying to remember back to the and I'm proud to call it hints it. that the monks gave me. And I remember this set was by water, right? And it was very nearby. Is there any other body of water right there? That's really it. I mean, unless they meant like this pond. I can't remember exactly, and, and the uh, monks aren't here anymore because the Priory was attacked. Crap. Oh, all right, never mind. Here's some monks. What can this humble monk help you with? I guess nothing. May the gods. I'm afraid not. He likes to test out various magics, so. Wherever it was, it would be somewhere that we couldn't hear his trials. Trials. Yes. He usually spent time around the pond during the day. I'd assume wherever he hid, it would be easy accessible. He was not a man of patience. Times are tough. Well, he liked to go for Fair walks travel. at night. I'm not really sure when he found the time to sleep. Sure seemed odd at the time. Okay. May the nine yes. guide you. Yes? Wherever it was, I doubt it was inside of the Priory. They aren't any good places. He would want plenty of space to try things. Okay. That's back outside. Is there like an upstairs? Okay. Good day to you. Anybody up here? <clears throat> hmm. Hello? I'm afraid not. He okay. likes to test out various magics, so wherever it was, it would be somewhere that we couldn't hear his trial. I still can't believe what happened to Borvald. Yep. Poor old yes. Borvald. <sighs> hmm. He likes to take walks around the night. He needed space. He didn't want them to hear him, but he wasn't a patient man, so he wouldn't have gone far. 
I have to go. <laughs> oh, do you? Have I spoke to you? I wish you. Wherever it was, I doubt it was inside yeah. the Priory. Yeah. They aren't any good places. He would want plenty of space too. Uh, maybe back in here. I've been over. I don't know if I've been over there. Let's let's check. I thought it would be around Balin Priory, but I get the feeling that it's not. But he wasn't a patient man, so it can't be far. Oh, you know what? I see a dragon sign, so that may not be where he tested it. That just may be where there is a uh, a wall of power. And I see spiders. Get a mule. Ah, oh, she's got that. Right? There we go. Ho oh, oh. ho. Oh, man. Oh yeah, you guys think you're hot shit, huh? Huh? Alright. I've taken out bandits with crossbows. You mother truckers are nothing. Hold on, let me cast regrowth again. Yeah! Damn cave bears. Thank you, my ghost soldier. Now I shall take your pelts. Alright. Wall of power. Oh. Uh, no, it's a broken wall of power. <laughs> That's the noise they make if they're, uh, you like raise the dead. Well, clearly this is not where he was experimenting. Maybe it is right, right next to the Priory, but I don't- I didn't see anything. I remember looking before and I couldn't find anything. I will take all of that. Ugh. Been there, I've been there. Is there any Here, let me go straight. I have not explored that grove. I imagine it would be a place that you can like fast travel to. Hello deer, elk, whatever. Saber cats? Yeah. Oh, eat that. Get off my sword. Oh. Oh my God, a spriggan matron. Get a meal. Or get her. Yeah. Take that, Spriggan Matron. Uh oh. That's probably more Spriggans. Or that's just spiders. I got your back, Mule. What is that in the distance? I see an enemy on the radar, but I don't actually see it. Hmm. Let's go this way. Ah, yes. Spiders. There we 
There we go. I figured there'd be at least one other Spriggan around. Uh, could not get around the rock. I couldn't figure it out. I yes. All right. So here's the actual grove. Can we go in here? It's like a door. There's not a door. There is a dead hunter. You know what? I haven't used this spell for a while. Um, bury the dead. I love the cold there. There we go. It's exhilarating. We have now buried the hunter. Because of my Nord blood, but there's something about it that makes me feel alive. Well, what the hell? So it's not here either. I don't see any other points of interest around. Ugh. I've already been there. <laughs> Man, where the f is it? You know, I think I may just take some time when I'm not recording and, and look for it, so I'm not just sitting here for like an hour running around the same places. Alright, let's go back to Splinter Rock Point. And let's start making the walls to the outpost. Oh, you know what? I for That's okay. Never mind. I was going to collect some more people, but we'll do that later. Alright, what time is it? 5 a.m.? Let's, let's rest a couple hours, get the full daylight going here. That's okay. Hardly full daylight, but I will take it. Okay, Mule. I'm gonna have you stop. Whoops. <laughs> um, I clearly do not have the amazing tweaks commands equipped. Actions. Stop. All right. There's something about it that makes. Let's go over here. Alright, how am I going to want to do this? I think we're going to want to build that out just a little bit. I guess we could use this road as a gatehouse. Even though the road only goes up there and not really out there, which is the way I want it to go. No, we'll, we'll do it right here. Okay, so we're going to extend our wall. Let's go to the Dwarven Wall. Dwarven Wall. Alright. It's a little too close. Oh. Still close. Actually, I wonder if it's starting position, like you see how high it is? I wonder if that's judged by where you're looking at when you, when you pull it out. Hold on. Because I actually want it lower. No, it doesn't seem that way. Alright, well, we'll just do distance mode. Oh, oh, there we go. Because I want to see the whole thing, so to do that I have to kind of pull it out quite a lot. Hmm. I think it's going to be best if I rotate it out this way. Okay. Let me make sure that that's lined up. That is not lined up. There we go. That should be lined up. I th think... That should be okay. We're going to have to bring it in a little bit. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Heck yeah, that looks great. Okay. Let's rotate again. I have like a little corner piece here. Ooh, but I want the gatehouse to be on that road. Ah, oh, man. Crap. Oh, well. It's going to be a little off the road. Alright. 
Which way is this facing? I need to go a little bit more. I think that should be okay. Don't want to be like that. Hmm. All right. Yes. Okay. That is the angle I want it. Hmm. It's gonna be a little difficult. Since I have to be so far away to actually see the big picture, maybe too far away to see if it's actually had a right connection. Let's see how this looks outside. That's that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Alright, so we'll have a gate here. Again, I kind of wanted it to be right there, but... Hmm. Can I move this wall up? Can I jump? There we go. Okay, okay. Shoot, now I'm just going to have to redo it. Ah, oh, dang it. Break it down. Son of a bee. It's in my head. I, I need this little path to be the gatehouse. I need it to be. Alright. So we should start actually planning this from the gate. Dang it, those walls were set up so good too. Curse you, brain. Um, I think that should be okay. Alright. Let's do it from this angle. Alright. So I want the wall kind of following the road. Alright, so I think that should be okay. Bring it down a little bit. Down a little bit more. Is that too short? No, that's... well... No, I don't think that's too short. Okay, so now that we have that piece, now I can make the wall that's going to go to that rock formation. Let me make sure this is the right angle. That should be. Bring it down. I think that should be good. Uh, not perfect. But unless you go up really close, you won't be able to tell. Alright, so let's keep going with this wall. We should just build the wall all the way down. Hmm. Ah, we'll get to that part later. Okay, now we're gonna rotate. Actually, actually, now we're gonna get a gate up. I haven't messed with the iron gate, but I just don't think it's big enough for this kind of entrance. Let's see. Um, yeah, like that's not exactly a gate for a city. Like maybe a side gate, but not like a main one. Alright, do I have any wooden gates uh, with me? Yes, I have four of them. Excellent. Is that the right angle? It is, but that is the outside of the gate. We need to turn this around. There we go. That should be good. Well, that's not going to be perfect, is it? Should be good enough. Raise it up a bit. Like that.
All right. I like it. Oh, this tree is gonna get in the way. Oh, it's gonna go right. It's gonna clip through the wall. Oh, darn you, Flora. Darn you, Mother Nature. <laughs> Oh, uh, what am I going to do there? Yeah, see, it's, uh. I may just have to live with it. Is this it? At the right angle? That is not. Now it is. Raise up. I'm trying to line it up with like that top beam of the wooden gate, making sure it mimics the other dwarven wall on the other side. I think I have to bring it in a little bit. Nope. Nope. Brought it in too much. And that darn tree. Look at that. Look at that. It's all poking through. Truck. Alright. Maybe this one we should just get really close. I don't need to see the full picture. I just need to see this where the uh, wall meets the gates. Well, actually, no. I kind of do need to see the whole picture. Darn it. Ah. I want my character to be able to look up without actually lifting. Oh, well, you know, I could have just done this and get a bigger picture. Yeah, I could do that. Anyway. So the post is all but hidden by the wall. We raise it up. Like that. That's much better. How does it look from the outside? Uh-oh. What? No! That's a graphical glitch, that's not actually- Oh wait, no. What? I placed that there? I must have accidentally pressed E, I don't remember doing that. Oh, well that's better than that being just like a graphical glitch and that always just sitting there. Alright. Alright. We got a wall started here, <laughs> uh, but I think we want to end the episode here. Next time, I'm probably going to finish. It's going to be probably a lot of building, uh, whereas this episode was kind of half and half building and you know half adventuring. The next one's probably going to be mostly outpost building. So, um, ho hopefully, you look forward to that. If you don't, I apologize, but I really want to build this. So, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you all next time. Take care.